Alexa, we're here at Emo. Fantastic booth, but this is one of the highlights for me for sure. Can you tell us all about it, please? Well, it's a modular concept of a very a machine with a big operation area. So you can make bar machining up to 125 millimeter. You can make uh, chucking operations with big chucks up to 500 millimeter. And the concept has a uh, possibilities for one up to four turrets. Sure, and this is, we've got y we've got lots of different axes, Y-axes on, on the turrets. It, it's just a stunning machine tool. Yes, it's very complex with four different channels for the different turrets. So it's uh, for serial production, but also for flexibility with a lot of tools involved. So we can do things like pinch turning? Yes, for shaft type operations, you can turn up and down turret or simultaneous on both sides. You can use one turret as a tailstock. You can have even a steady rest to support a shaft type workpiece. Instead of one of the turret, you can have a flexible steady. And the whole idea is to balance the cycle, I'm guessing. So we do equal amount of work on each spindle. Yes, and all four turrets can work on both spindles. So you can even run with three turrets on the left one or three turrets on the right side so that you really use the cutting time of each turret uh, to the maximum. And that's what spin are all about, aren't they? Getting these cycle times as low as possible. Yes, uh, performance of a machine is always an issue. The price, obviously, of a such complex machine is not that low, so the machine must run 24-7 and the turrets must uh, run all the time. Sure, again with Spinner, high quality built machine. So can you talk us through the configuration? Like It's quite a unique style, isn't it? Yes, first of all, it's a 90 degree slant bed design with a very good uh, chip flow, uh, which is essential for serial production. Otherwise, if you always have to involve in the chips, uh, it cannot run 24 seven unmanned. Yeah, and also in terms of the software, what, what control options do you have? Because it's a very complex machine. Uh, we have two different controls available, Siemens Cinemeric 1, the most uh, new generation, as well as Fanuc uh, with the new HMI. So it's very flexible in programming. You can directly program it on the machine and obviously you can also program with the CAD-CAM si system offline. And machine shops around the world, they need to get cycle times down, they need to be more efficient because price is becoming more important by the day. But for some engineers, they might not need uh, all these turrets. What other options do you have in the range? Uh, you can you can uh, strip down the machine to one turret only, two or three or four turrets or steadies in combination. So it's a very flexible uh, system you can adapt on the demand of the customer. John, sure, speaking about flexibility, we're putting more material in and finished components out. So tell us more about your automation offering. Of course, it's necessary to finish work pieces in one operation only. Uh, ready to deliver by the customer. So we have live tool everywhere. We have uh, Y axis uh, in the machine. So to finish the part either from bar material or from chucking operation in one setup only. And traditionally, like you say, we'd have a bar feeder on the, uh, this type of machine. But on another machine on the same booth, we've got a very, a very efficient, you know, high end complex automation system. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we as a company, we deliver the machine as well as the automation from one source. We have our own uh, sister company called Spin Automation, making very complex automation projects. And we, de we designed a big uh, automation system for uh, chucking parts up to the diameter of 400 millimeter, let's say and we can feed and unload, load and unload work pieces up to 200 uh, kilogram. Well, Axel, I think it's going to be a huge success. Congratulations on the launch and thank you. Thank you.